Dr. Gambini, can you just take us through uh, this research and why did you choose kangaroos for this testing? Well, thank you so much for the invitation. And yes, we we are starting our research in kangaroos because uh, kangaroos um, are abundant. And so this is a species that we can get um, samples from. And this is what we need to start setting up the technology. We need to collect eggs and we need to collect sperm and start understanding what's going on in the lab to be able to then apply it to other marsupials, like endangered species where having access to samples is a little bit more complicated. So why kangaroos are not an animal that's at risk of extinction at the moment? So because kangaroos are overabundant, as I said, we can uh, have access to the samples. So to make embryos in the lab, we need to collect eggs from the ovaries and we need to collect sperm from the testes, from females and males. And kangaroos are an excellent model for us because there are many animals that we can have access to. So there's plenty of samples that we can use in our laboratory to perform all the experiments and to be successful on fine tune this technology that has been applied in many other species, but uh, yet not in kangaroos or other marsupials. How significant is it that you've um, produced the first embryo and what do you hope will come from this research? Yeah, so the, the very first attempt of producing a, a marsupial embryo was 20 years ago. And in these last 20 years, we have learned a lot on how to grow embryos in the lab. And we are growing embryos in bovine and in horses. And now that we can have marsupial embryos in the dish, we, we this has a huge impact for conservation because we can understand a lot of, of the reproductive biology and this can help us to uh, design new conservation tools. But at the same time, what we can do with this technology, uh, combined, of course, with other conservation strategies, is we can uh, preserve the genetics of animals that they are dying. So in these endangered species, animals are dying. And what we can do is we can preserve the sperm, we can preserve the eggs, and then have embryos that we can, in the future, use and transfer to reintroduce that genetic into the population and contribute to uh, conserving that species. So are there plans for any other animals to be in line for this trial or, or this treatment? And, and what are some of those animals? Yeah, so what, what we are doing already in our laboratory is we are um, applying this technology to koalas. Unfortunately, uh, koalas are also dying for many different causes. And we have help from our uh, wildlife hospitals and connections and the Hidden Bell Research Center. So every time that one of these un precious animals die, we can go and collect samples. So at the moment, what we are doing is we are improving the way that we can preserve the sperm and preserve the egg and to be sooner able to make embryos in koalas as well. Um, so koala is next in our um, uh, goals. But we are probably happy to start working with uh, other endangered species quite soon. Fascinating work. Dr. Andreas Gambini from the University of Queensland, thanks so much for your time. No worries. Thank you for the invitation again. Bye.